love, money, and death. At the end, he killed her. Someone could get away with murder. Of Jet Jacobs. The three normally go hand in hand, but not in this way. In this week's episode of Caught presented by Catfish, we're going to be taking a look in what may be the most unorthodox Catfish murder story we have seen yet. Jet, a 67-year-old grandmother and two-time widow, was eager to find someone she could hopefully spend the rest of her life with. Unfortunately, that someone was a professional romance scammer that ended up taking her life. The story begins when Jed Jacobs from Wajin, Western Australia began talking online with an Orowo, Jesse Omoko, a 28-year-old man from South Africa. Everything seemed to be going great. Jesse was giving Jet a lot of attention and continuously told her how beautiful she was. Thinking that Jesse was the one, Jed did everything she could for him, even sending money to help with his financial troubles. The amount of money that she sent over time ended up totaling out to close to $90,000. In 2010, Jet flew to Johannesburg, South Africa to meet with Jesse in person, further solidifying the relationship. Everything seemed perfect, but like all catfish stories, there was a problem. The feelings weren't mutual, and as it turns out, Jesse was a romance scammer from Nigeria. He made a living off of taking advantage of vulnerable people like Jet online. He would do anything he could to scam money out of Jet or anyone else he chatted with. Jet even received a letter from a fraud prevention team known as Project Sunbird claiming that she may be a victim to a romance scam. What makes this story so strange is that even though Jet realized she was being scammed, she continued to talk to Jesse. In fact, their relationship escalated. They would talk about how their life was going to be together and how Jesse was going to take care of Jet. They even had talks of marriage. So in 10 weeks, we will be husband and wife for real, I hope. Yes, baby, for real. I just can't wait. After a four year romance, everything came crashing down. Excited about what her future could be with Jesse, Jet flew down to South Africa to tie the knot. Jet's children warned her about the potential danger and urged her not to go, but she didn't listen. And unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. Did you query why a man 40 years her junior was even interested in a woman who was, well, for starters, 13,000 kilometers away? We did, but I mean, mum didn't want to hear about it. She just mm. said, no, he cares for me, he loves me. You know, she, she, she believed that she's found the man who wanted to fill that gap she had in her life and he was going to fulfill all the dreams. Jed Jacobs was found dead on February 9th, 2013, alone in a villa located in Johannesburg. Her money, credit cards, jewelry, laptop computer, and other personal items were missing from the villa. And most importantly, there was no Jesse. Immediately after the death of Jet, Orowo Jesse Amoko fled back to Nigeria. With no one to question, investigators started by looking into why exactly Jesse was in South Africa. Realizing why he had come, investigators started looking for Jesse, a feat that wouldn't be easy. About 12 months later, with the help of the Australian government, they were able to track down Jesse along with a well-orchestrated organization of romance scammers. A house filled with cell phones, laptops, luxury cars, and watches. On January 28, 2014, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, or the EFCC, claimed that they arrested Orowo Jesse Omoko for the murder of Jet Jacobs. Unfortunately, they didn't have a toxicology report which has a backlog of over three years in order to convict him. Her family doesn't have much faith that anyone will ever be responsible for the death of Jet Jacobs. So how do you feel today being your birthday? I feel, I don't feel happy at all. I, this is the first birthday I'll be celebrating with none of my family members around and I'll be locked in a detention and it's really bad. And so concludes the unfortunate story of Jet Jacobs. Send us a like if you enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments section down below what you thought about the story. For more in-depth details on this case, please feel free to check out our blog linked in the description. For teasers on the new episodes coming out, be sure to follow us on our social media pages, hit that notification bell and subscribe button to be notified when the next episode of Caught presented by Catfish goes live.